Summer movie season's also heating up like our temperatures, but not all of the films are scorching hot. Some are just plain cold. You like what I did there? Right? I like what she you did there. <laughs> Elizabeth Wagmeister is here to talk about it. Thank you. Uh, let's first talk about The Flash. How did it do at the box office? Not doing well, Jamie. Mm. So we spoke about this film last week. Obviously, big budget superhero film cost about two hundred million to produce. I know when they're that expensive, it's hard to come back. It is, but with a superhero film, you want to reach that quite literally billion dollar box office mark. Well, right now, worldwide, it's made over two hundred million. But remember, this is an accounting for marketing. So this uh. is a very dismal. Week two, it dropped 73 percent from opening weekend to its second weekend. So we saw the animated Spider Verse movie go on top in its fourth weekend. That's very atypical for a movie in week four to be at the top of the box office. So that just shows the dire situation that the Flash is in. This is going to be seen absolutely as a huge failure for a movie of this stature. And I think one of the reasons why is Ezra Miller. We spoke about this last week or possibly the week yeah. before didn't do much press if at all, at all but yeah. that's not even the reason Ezra Miller is not a superstar no. usually in these superhero they movies have you name. have a big name they were really relying on the flash which is a known superhero but it's not spider-man it's not batman and Ezra Miller is not an a-lister by any means so they took a gamble and it's not really paying off didn't quite work this okay. time okay um, i have seen you know advertisements for this all over the place i'm intrigued by the promotion of it. Mm -hmm. Tell me about No Hard Feelings with Jennifer Lawrence because I haven't gone to see it yet, but I am intrigued by it. Yes, yeah, so No Hard Feelings starring Jennifer Lawrence. It's a raunchy R-rated comedy. Which seems so out of character for her. Which I love. I love that we're seeing her do something different. The reviews are great, really strong. Opened under expectations, but still not a horrible opening weekend. Made about 15 million. This has a budget of around 45 million. When you take in marketing, it's going to have to make a lot more to become a success. But again, this isn't a terrible opening. Also, it's very hard for an R rated comedy to do well with oh, comedies, true. right? You usually want to bring the kids. You want to laugh when it's R rated. It's it's more difficult. But look at something like Deadpool. Now, again, yeah. that is superhero, but that's a comedy that was R rated a huge success. So I anticipate with the positive reviews, with the star power of Jennifer Lawrence, as you said, we're seeing her everywhere and nobody does a press tour better than her. No, she's out everywhere. everywhere. I mean, I've seen her everywhere. Yes, and everything she says is hysterical. So I do anticipate that we'll see this grow as it continues. So I think too soon to tell, but the reviews are good. And again, who doesn't love Jennifer Lawrence? <laughs> I, I, you don't know many people who don't, that's she, for sure. She got the stamp of approval from Andy Cohen, and that so. does a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. Uh, what other movies can we look forward to coming up? Because I feel like, you know, you get started, we have all these big blockbusters at the mm -hmm. beginning, and then sometimes it trails off a little bit. Not trailing off at all this okay. summer, Jamie. So this is going to be a huge summer for movies. You hear blockbuster season. No bigger blockbuster than this summer. We are seeing another Mission Impossible. Oh, right. Indiana Jones, which comes out this weekend That's with right. Harrison Ford. Then we have Barbie, which is going to be the movie of the summer, if not the year. And then Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer. So there we see a look at all of these. These are all such different movies. Such too. different movies, all huge names, huge budget. So all these studios need to have a positive box office to make back the return. But these are all coming out in July. So this is really the biggest blockbuster season that we've seen certainly since the pandemic. Now the big question is, is will the space be too crowded or are people going to run to theaters? I think when you look at all of these films, again, you have huge names, you have huge titles. I think that there is different audiences and there is an appetite to get back to theaters, particularly as June and the start of summer has been really slow. Yeah, no kidding. All right. Well, I can't wait to see a bunch of those, by the Me way. Too. I'm going to call you to set it up. Well, let's see Barbie together. I really want to see Barbie That's with Movie of the okay. summer. <laughs> Elizabeth Wagmeister from Variety, thank you so much. And you can find more information about Elizabeth and Variety by going to KCALNews.com, clicking Scene on TV.